Now here's a question of mastermind proportions. Do you know what the shad is? Well, it's a migratory fish, a member of the herring family, and it's becoming endangered in the UK. So now a 20 million pound project's underway to boost their numbers on the River Severn. As part of this year's spring watch season, our rural affairs correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, joins us now, Canal Side in Kings Windford. So this sounds like a very big plan, this, David. It is. It's exciting news for the shad and for people who live alongside the Severn, Nick. It was such an important fish just over 100 years ago. Vital source of food for many people living in the Midlands. But after the Industrial Revolution, numbers just plummeted. Well, now the plan is afoot to change all that and bring the shad back to the Severn. A weir on the River Severn across the fields from Tewkesbury. This is a scene unchanged pretty much since the Industrial Revolution. Except for this strange addition. This is very new. See, oh, oh. see there's a couple coming through. Yeah. Watch very closely in that We're counting shad, the Severn's secret fish. It's a subspecies of herring, and at this time of year it's heading back up the river to spawn. I think we saw three coming yeah. through then, didn't we? Successfully through the notch. Okay. Um, and then one failed attempt there. Was that, that, was, that was another one, so that's four. Failed. And then one failed to get through. It reached the, the board there, but it didn't manage to make, make it through. The boards help us count the shad, and we could see as many as 300 today, but that's nothing compared to how things used to be. So historically the population of shad was much, much bigger. Um, there was an enormous fishing industry built around the shad, um, and it was a really important food source for the local population, uh, population of Gloucester, Worcester and Shropshire. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, though, the river changed. Weirs were built, vital for navigation, but disastrous for migratory fish like the shad. So Peter, the shad are coming up the Severn towards us. What's yeah. the problem with the weir here? Well, the weir's quite a high barrier, nearly two metres high, yeah. um, and shad simply can't jump over that. They're not like salmon that would be able to get over a barrier that big. Um, they need much smaller steps. So they're not really designed for this? Uh, no, they, they can be a bit pathetic compared to other migratory fish, so we're using them as the lowest common denominator. If we can help get shad around these barriers, we'll be helping all migratory fish. That'll help the ecosystem of the whole river. So the plan is to spend £20 million making six weirs on the River Severn and the River Team fish friendly. And that's very good news for the shad. So the salmon swims up the Severn, spawns and then goes back down again. But the shad is completely different. It's a multiple spawner. So it swims a little way, spawns, swims a little way, spawns again and keeps going. And that means if you open up the River Severn to it, its population should start to increase pretty dramatically, pretty quickly. One day, counting shad on the Severn might take a lot more volunteers than this. Well, let's stay with water, but move to canals rather than our rivers. And another project to look at animals on our waterways and otters, Paul. How many otters are there on our canals? What do we know about them? It's a very good question. Um, we know very little, especially on canals. There's very little research. We know the last 10 years there's been regular activity on canals, such as the Staffordshire and Worcestershire. We're getting more and more reports in a city in the Birmingham area. So that's where we led as a charity. We didn't have the resources um, to, do the, to do the study ourselves. So we really rely on volunteers and university students. That's where Sammy came into and they're gathering the volunteers to do a, a survey of the whole network. Let's talk to Sammy. So you helped survey 600 kilometres of network what did you find? Yeah so I had a team of 60 volunteers who I managed and they walked up and down the canal each week for me looking for signs of otters and we found that there's quite a lot of otter activity in the canals especially around the outside of Birmingham um, and a few of them come into the city centre but probably not as many as we would hope. Sammy, thank you for that. Well done to you and your volunteers. Paul, how many otters in 600 kilometres of network in the Midlands? Well, part of the study, we had funding from the Sea Life Centre who raised funds to do the DNA analysis, and we found that there was about 14 otters on the whole of the Midlands. One field. four, that's it. Yeah, which is a very low density, which is what you expect. They have large territories, um, but we really need to do this year on year um, and get them proper monitoring, so we need people to help us out. OK, well, if you want to help out, Sammy, uh, we'll put more details up on our social media account. But now back to you, Nick. David, thank you.